Hello everyone, in this video lecture we are going to understand the classification of semiconductor. Whatever things that you know, at some point of time, class semiconductor is classified into three categories or some point of time, semiconductor is classified into two categories. What is this contradiction? We will figure it out in this lecture. Keep watching, gel. lecture i'd like to request you one simple thing please do follow that the last lecture that you uh, saw for mobility the last lecture on mobility if you go to that lecture if you go to the last lecture lecture six basic semiconductor phys physics the last lecture for mobility now if you go to this lecture's description menu there i have provided you questions associated with mobility now let's open that okay so the questions which are associated with the mobility there are very very simple previous year questions uh, i have went through all the questions uh, the questions except these questions are very simple questions and basically these questions are very simple questions that have asked in gate and yesi so you can solve these questions quite nicely there are around seven questions are there okay answers of these questions is provided in the top don't look at these answers just solve these questions they are just put the formula get the answer kind of question and if you want to upload the solution or if you want to ask any question you can ask here on this comment box you can ask here or you can ask here in our uh, youtube channel okay so you can visit this page also we also provided the slides that i presented you in this description menu I've also provided you the slides that I presented to you. So go and look at the slides and do the questions. Without any wasting of time, let's get started with our four, seventh lecture of first module, Basic Semiconductor Physics. Seventh lecture, that is Semiconductor Classification. Now this is, this is something which is, which is, you can see here we have successfully completed linear combination uh, atomic orbital mobility now we are in the third chapter classification of material now it is going to take only one video lecture it is going to take only one video lecture now why semiconductor why we choose semiconductor uh, for electronics devices and circuit analysis because we can control the conducting nature we can control the conducting nature of any material because at zero degree kelvin at zero kelvin a material this semiconductor material behaves like a insulator behave like behaves like an in insulator and at 300 kelvin it behaves like a metal so its behavior its conducting property we can control this conducting property that is why we choose semiconductor over then insulator and metals now semiconductor classified into two ways sir kya hai iska matlab semiconductor classification is divided into different two ways classification divided hota hai na different classified hota hai but here you are saying a classification ka bhi classification hai hmm so what happens here look semiconductor based on the impurity concentration it is divided into three categories okay see here based on three based on impurity concentration it divided into three category pure intrinsic and extrinsic but on based on the type of semiconductor based on type it divided into two categories okay we'll get into the type let's understand the impurity concentration सर मैंने तो पढ़ा था इंट्रेंजिक और एक्सट्रेंजिक है पर यहाँ पे प्योर कहाँ से आ गया तीन टाइप का क्या कहाँ से आ गया सर इसमें थोड़ा कन्फ्यूजन हो रहा है सर मुझे ट्यू लाइट लुक या लुक केयरफुली इन केस ऑफ प्योर सेमी कंडक्टर यू नो इंट्रेंजिक एंड एक्सट्रेंज व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एक्सट्रेंजिक सेमी कंडक्टर एंड इंट्रेंजिक सेमी कंडक्टर इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल थिंग इन केस ऑफ एक्सट्रेंजिक सेमी कंडक्टर इन केस ऑफ एक्सट्रेंजिक सेमी कंडक्टर वी हैव इम्प्योरिटीज और द डो पैंट्स लाइक इट वुड बी विल विल गेट इन टू द ब्रीफली इन टू दिस सब्जेक्ट इन डोपिंग सब्जेक्ट बट हियर यू नीड टू ओनली अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज वॉट इज अ एक्सट्रेंजिक सेमी कंडक्टर दैट मीन्स दिस सेमी कंडक्टर इज नॉट प्योर it is doped by some dopant element if any 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 kind of interview if interviewer asked you the classification of semiconductor 
don't tell them ki divided into two types intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductors divided into two types three types pure intrinsic and extrinsic what is the difference between pure and intrinsic pure is there is always remember there is no interstitial impurity is present interstitial impurity inter here interstitial impurity in case of in case of pure semiconductor there is no interstitial impurity but in case of in intrinsic semiconductor there is interstitial impurities of presence okay from interview point of view this is your explanation but from our analysis from now onwards whatever things that we are going to study after this thing if i'll say intrinsic and pure i'm going to take intrinsic and pure as one category theek hai so from now onwards in our analysis i'm going to divide semiconductor into two ways one is pure and another one is another one is extrinsic okay i'm going to divide it i'm going to divide in these two ways one is pure another one is extrinsic for our analysis okay but here this is for our analysis now onwards but for here this is for interview this is for interview remember theek hai now moving on second way of classification second way of looking at the semiconductor classification okay one is elemental type of semiconductor second one is compound type semiconductor what is the difference between elemental and compound type now look hydrogen is a element oxygen is a element but h2o is a compound this is a element this is a element but h2o is a compound सर ये तो केमिस्ट्री से हमें पता है पता है ओके सॉरी नहीं बोलना चाहिए था सो ट्राइवेलेंट ट्राइवेलेंट एलिमेंट टेट्रावेलेंट एलिमेंट एंड पेंटावेलेंट एलिमेंट दीज कैरेक्टर्स सो बेसिकली दीज आर द कैरेक्टर्स दैट 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 आर गोइंग टू प्ले अ वाइटल रोल इन आवर ई डी सी एनालिसिस नाउ हाउ इट इज डिवाइडेड इन टू एलिमेंटल टाइप एंड कंपाउंड कंपाउंड टाइप एज यू कैन सी योर क्लियरली द वाइट कलर एरिया दीज आर the elemental type semiconductor these are the elemental type semiconductor now if you mix trivalent with pentavalent if you mix them okay trivalent and pentavalent they mix each other sorry it's not mixing they combine with each other to form a compound type semiconductor so it is divided into two category one is elemental type of semiconductor that means they are germanium and that means they are germanium and silicon these are the elemental type of semiconductor but for case of in case of compound type semiconductor who are they compound compound types semiconductor is indium phosphate gallium arsenide mostly we are going to uh, look at these two compound type semiconductor whatever discussion that we are going to do we are going to do on these two semiconductor so ye char semiconductor char very important characters hain jo ki hamare aane wale analysis mein participate karne wale hain so so elemental type semiconductor germanium and silicon are elemental type of semiconductor now if you combine if you combine if you combine trivalent element with pentavalent element trivalent element with pentavalent element it will give you compound type semiconductor but as a elemental type semiconductor we can take germanium and silicon so please be careful with this naming conventions all these semiconductor material names so aane wale time mein hame ye chaare ye sare cheez kafi zarurat hone wali thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned with the gel stay tuned with the electronics devices devices and circuits we'll quickly finish this entire subject 
within a 24 hours of time. Bye.